right, guys, we are back. We're going to do another one, and I have something right off the bat. So, what happens usually when I'm going to bed, um, I get messages that come through. By the way, I'm still dealing with the whole allergy thing, so I apologize. It's kind of rough right now. At least my head feels really stopped up, so I hope I'm not yelling. I also don't want to talk too low. I'll just try to be aware of it. But anyway, I was going to bed, and I kept getting... A message and I got a song again and this is a country song it's called life's a dance it's by John Michael M Montgomery let's read the lyrics for those of you who are new here this is just my channeled messages I just basically channel whatever I get and I put it out here and we somehow get a message so let's read the lyrics I feel like this is important for this message all right let's read some of them I want to read all of them life's a dance you learn as you go sometimes you leave Sometimes you follow. Don't worry about what you don't know. Life's a dance. You learn as you go. The longer I live, the more I believe. You have to give if you want to receive. It goes right along with when I tell you you have to lose in order to gain. That's with anything. There's a time to listen and a time to talk. And you might have to crawl even after you walk. Failure. Right? But it's never really failure because what goes down will come up, what goes up comes down. You know, it's just part of it. It's a life circle. You know, as, as above, so below. Had sure things blow up in my face. Seen the long shot win the race. Been knocked down by the slamming door. Picked myself up and came back for more. Life's a dance, you learn as you go. I'm going to put, th this song is, it's the message today. Or it has something to do with it. So basically... It could be a little pep talk here from Spirit. <laughs> I think it's a pep talk. Step pep, pep talk from pep. pep. Okay, Spirit. <laughs> I'm also hearing Pepsi. Somebody could be drinking Pepsi or something to do with Pepsi, but pep talk. It's a universal pep talk or pep talk from God or your spirit guides, angels, or for all of us in the world. Because this is, I'm trying to gear this one more to general, like what's happening in the world. And I'm getting, you know, basically spirit saying, hey, I'm giving you a little pep talk, letting you know what, what, whatever has happened, you've gotten through it. And guess what? Whatever's about to happen, you're going to get through it just the same. Or whatever happens will be what's meant to happen. You learn as you go. It's kind of like parenting in a way. You never know. It's not like children come with a manual or something about Emmanuel, or Emmanuel, or Jesus, or God. Again, I'm telling you, the biblical energy the past few days is so heavy, you know, and there's a huge sense of good and evil. There's a huge sense of God and Satan. There's a huge sense of spiritual war in the world, of all the everything that ever existed going on right now. And coming forth, to dance. I'm seeing some crazy shit, guys. I don't know what this is. It could just be, I, I don't know. Let's just not worry about anything. Let's just get the message. Let's just keep it simple. Let's, let's not even be like, oh, this is what's going to happen. Let's just get this message. Maybe it does. I don't know. But I'm seeing angels come down from the sky. I'm like, whatever you think an angel is, because uh, I'm getting that it's going to be different for everyone. But this is, I'm just seeing the skies open. Let's say that. And then I'm seeing fights happen on earth from like dark entities. And just like this war, like this clash of, you know, like uh, there's a huge spiritual war. Um, and it's like, as above, so below. It's almost like. I feel like, oh man, this is a really strong message. This is, I'm hearing the non-believers will believe. And everyone who mocked and who turned their face and their noses up and those who have willingly stood against light beings judge them, thought they had the right to depict who were the true light beings. 
these are the angels, this is the universe, whatever you decide that you believe in. It will be made known here. It's like this, oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is like really intense. It's like it's going to be made known that there's way more than us here. And it's going to be made known who's really in charge. And it's not at all what anybody thought. <laughs> mm -mm. Even the people who believed they thought, you know, but it's like, oh, you're really going to see. You know, and it's just because when you haven't been punished in so long and you just keep looking around and you're seeing all this bad shit happen and you, and some of you, the majority of you, I mean, all of us are to blame. <laughs> it's like we do terrible shit all at varying degrees, all different for different people, but we do terrible shit and then we adjust and we grow hopefully and we unveil we unpeel these layers to see our true selves by humility by loss by having by not having i mean this is what happens you know and so then a new lighter version of yourself is born but then the people around you hate that, right? Because they can't understand it because they don't see you in that way because they don't see that light in themselves. That's really what it is. So they can't possibly see it in you because you're no, you're no longer an energetic match. You get a lot of hate, you know? These people are going to be made believers. Believe it. They will have no choice but to believe it because it will be before their very eyes. I'm seeing people like fall and hit their knees, all of us. Not one person able to stand. And this is just a vision, right? But this has been spoken, this has been written. But I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it now for this message that says life's a dance, you learn as you go. You learn as you go, but the point is here that you learn. I feel like someone here, I'm picking up on the group of society on the group of society who you could call the black sheep, who are the ones that have strayed and they have, we could, we could uh, do the whole video on it, but we need not. The black sheep, you know what it means. Those people who have been labeled that by everyone around them, who have transformed their lives, like my previous video about the, the caterpillar to the butterfly. These individuals in this group of society have overcome and been endured with so much hatred and so much judgment from the outside world. And they have continued to stay faithful and loyal. The people calling them fakes, the people calling them all kinds of names. I mean, even Jesus was called a fake. But these are the black sheep who are actually leading the way. You could call these the karmics. You could call these the towers. These are the people who have learned because life is a dance. They're not continuing to do bad things. They have morals, not because of indoctrination but because it is something that is within their soul it is something that is within their very being it is who they are it's the truth right is right truth is truth and these are individuals in this group of society who have they have defied all odds they have beat all odds and they didn't even think that they were or that they had some are starting to see it but some do not see but these are the people who the universe has a type of empathy for that doesn't mean that oh they haven't done bad and they aren't going to be judged for these things but they are humble and they are honest about them and they fall on their knees
they are righteous because they take accountability. So no matter what they've done, that is an honorable thing. But others have tried to tear that down out of these people. These are the people, these are the very people who are leading others behind them who are doing bad things and who aren't living a righteous, honorable life in their own life and not living their authentic truth. These black sheep who have done that previously but have since transformed, these people are the lights to those people. They're helping awaken the planet, but they're getting hate for it. These people here are a part of this life's the dance. I'm hearing pardoned. Those consciously aware are pardoned. That's what I'm hearing. As long as there is awareness, and which means if you have an awareness of something, you don't do it anymore. Or you don't keep it going. Once you see, you see, and you make the difficult decision, and you make the difficult transition, and you make the difficult choice. I'm channeling really hard right now. I feel like there's a really strong spirit guy coming through me. A masculine. Or maybe I'm picking up on some of you. Or like maybe you have a strong spirit guide or guardian or ancestor who passed away. I'm getting a strong masculine. And it could have to do with the military. And the reason I say that. I'm just going to say this and I'm going to get off here. Whew. I had another weird thing come through before I got on here. And it was the military. Now, I don't know what any of this means. Just like I don't know what any of it means ever. I just kind of channel it and apply it and integrate it as I go. You know what I mean? And then afterwards. I got that there is a branch of military. I don't know in what country. I don't know where. But they are going to turn on their leader because they're going to realize that there is more of them than this one person. It, it seems like an, an impossible feat. It would be a catastrophe. It would be complete chaos. It seems like a complete, you know, it doesn't seem like something that would be easily executed executed or execution I don't know I get turning on a branch of military though a whole branch and this is what's going to be difficult uh, where it seems impossible because getting that many people on the same page how could it be there would have to be something that would cause this but that's what I was getting a whole entire branch of military turning on their <laughs> government I don't know, but I'm not saying that, so I'm not putting that out there because maybe it's just a movie. Maybe it's a movie that's being created or something because I don't think one of those have ever been made, but I'm definitely seeing it. I'm getting another song real quick. I'm getting a song, Love Lifted Me. It's a hymn. It was in the hymnal when I was in church. Love Lifted Me. I just remember it being like, love lifted me when nothing else would help. Love lifted me. Let me see if I can find the lyrics. It's like planetary love here is what I'm feeling. Universal God love for the planet, for its long suffering, and the almost promise that it's going to be healed, but not without loss. Loss will occur and a great deal of loss is going to occur even more. It's like, but it's going to be healed. Here we go. <clears throat> when I type in love lifted me, it pulled up Kenny Rogers. So I don't know, maybe Kenny Rogers wrote this, but I'm pretty sure it was in my church. It was in the church hymn hymnal growing up but the master of the sea heard my despair and cry from the waters lifted me now safe am i love lifted me wow he's the master of the sea billows his will obey he your savior wants to be be saved today oh wow and then i saw people like oh i got chills again and then i saw people on their knees everyone 
all of us. Yeah. Now this doesn't have to have anything to do with religion. Because I think everyone will know there is um, only one God when this happens. It's going to be very clear. I almost feel like an instant stillness. You know how like, the only thing I can think of is when a woman gives birth to a baby. When she pushes the baby out, there is like this instant forgetfulness, <laughs> you know, amnesia. You just forget, you forget the pain and you, I'm not even kidding. You just totally forget <laughs> what you just did. I mean, that could be literally sewing you up, you know, and you're just like ripped all to hell and there's just, you don't even care. Like it's an instant just love. There's an instant understanding that you are not first in that situation at that very time. You realize that you are a part of. And that's like with us bowing on our knees. It's a sign of humility and hum being humble. But also here I feel this sense of connectedness to God. Knowing we are we are connected. Knowing we are one. An instant knowing. And almost forgetting what, what anything else going on in the world. It's like an instant. And then it almost blanks out. And what happens from there, only uh, the creator knows. That's all I'm getting. <laughs> wow. I don't really even know how to end this, which is probably a very significant thing to say. So we'll just let the creator end it the way the creator desires. Trust the process. Thank you guys for being here on this planet with me. And I hope I see you later. <laughs>